Hello, everyone. Welcome to our 22-minute hardcore webinar review of our newest program by Super Trainer Tony Horton. Uh, my name is Arno Nakaha. I'll be your host. Today, I'm joined by three test group participants at, uh, for eight weeks. As uh, a matter of fact, they're going to end their eight-week journey here this weekend. Um, have been going at it, testing out the program before the program kicks out to the millions out there. Uh, into into the world and so today before this weekend's launch I wanted to invite him to kind of share on several different aspects the first aspect would be a kind of the workouts themselves and the nutrition uh, one the other aspect would be um, you know as far as how was it created you know what's the story behind it why hardcore um, all those things are going to be important for you guys and then for those of you that are coaches or want to pay for it and help other people, uh, the, 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 the angle that we're going to take is how do we deploy this to the thousands and the hundreds in our organizations and connect with them? And so before we get started, I want to share my screen to just kind of share some basic information and then I'll welcome our, our speakers on the call. So just one second here, I'm going to share a quick PowerPoint and then take it from there. So Tony Horton, there is the uh, official uh, Tony Horton Hardcore uh, branded logo there, as you can see it. A bit about the background, and I'll have Mark to talk more. Obviously, it's an eight-week boot camp uh, fitness program uh, to give you results in 22 minutes per day. A lot of the background, as you guys can see from the imagery there is is a lot to do with our armed forces, our veterans, uh, the people that are protecting our nation here in the United States, and and uh, obviously Tony has an affinity for them, has worked out with many many uh, veterans and current active uh, service members in multiple camps throughout uh, throughout the world actually, and uh, this idea just fell into place, and I think this was something that this is something that literally can, can change a lot of lives and a lot of people's fitness as you as our participants share you'll quickly find out that this is for the people that are beginners and the people that are advanced and we calibrate that based on kind of what your efforts are and your fitness levels are and uh where you want to be ultimately okay so without any further ado, what i want to do give me this uh, you know, kind of simple background. I want to introduce Mark Briggs, okay? And I'm going to stop this. Stop I'm going to ask Mark to unmute himself. Mark, why don't you come in? Mark, and are, are you on? Let me check. I'm on first. Yep, I'm here. Okay. You want to raise up your volume a little bit? Can sure. you hear me? Can you hear me now? Fantastic. So I'm going to introduce you, Mark. And Mark is um, he's a nine star diamond. He's uh, from Illinois. Mark has actually worked and he's friends with Tony Horton for several years. Um, he was part of the P90X2 cast. He uh, has traveled with Tony on multiple, several uh, uh, military bases and uh, was actually before Beachbody a, a uh, first responder. He served um, as a police officer and did a, you know, did a great job and now has transitioned into serving, uh, to serving Beachbody and, and acting as a first responder and helping change people's fitness. So, Mark, why don't you come in and just kind of share a bit about, you know, the creation of the program, working with Tony, and, and, uh, and what else can you tell us about the start of the program? And if you want to meet everyone again, just to make sure that you're on. Mute yourself, but I'm going to mute everyone again just to be sure. Okay, Mark, if you want to unmute yourself now. Good to go. All right, come on in. First and foremost, thanks for having me on today. This has been an awesome journey. And, um, you know, as Arno said, I've had the honor of working with Tony in a lot of different things, been to a lot of bases around the globe with him. And one of Tony's passions is giving back to the military. You know, um, you've probably heard about his tours, but what a lot of people don't know is what we call it. It's, it's our time, our dime, meaning we were not paid to go to these bases. This is something that he's very passionate about. And so creating a program to give back to the military and really bring the military into uh, the spotlight was something that Tony was passionate about. Uh, unlike in some of the past projects with this, Tony was really very tight-lipped about this. I heard about this first probably around this time or a little bit later 
uh, last year when I got a call from Tony out of the blue and he said, hey man, I've got a new program I'm throwing together. If you want a, a shot at being in this, you need to get in shape. So to back that up a little bit, I had been doing Body Beast for about a year. I was walking around between 225 and 230 at the time and I said, well, what exactly does that mean? He said, well, he said, you need to be fit. And he said, I'm talking Navy SEAL fit. And I'm like, oh man, well, okay. All right, well, what weight do you want me at? He said, it's not about weight. You have to be functionally fit. So I shifted my diet, shifted my training, and I, I started to drop weight at that point. And Tony was still being relatively tight-lipped about the whole thing. Couldn't get too much information on it. And then when, uh, when the time came around, Tony called me and he said, hey, I hope you're in shape because you have to audition to be part of this cast. And I said, really? <laughs> I'm figuring I'm not going to get a free pass, but I'm like an audition. Okay, well, this is getting kind of serious. So once I did the audition, I knew exactly what it meant. They sent us a list of moves that we had to do and designated repetitions for each move. And because I'm in central Illinois, they allowed me to audition by video. So I had to shoot it on my iPhone. And with my brilliance, I decided, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to just look at these moves once I'm going to go out and do them. How tough can it be? Right? Okay. So I got through these moves. Um, and I mean, they absolutely kicked my butt. It wasn't that the moves were complex or difficult in and of themselves. It was the sequence that they were chained in and the number of reps. So I sent in my submission. Uh, I was later accepted. And when we went out for rehearsal for these, I learned that they had about 150 people audition. And of that, 41 made it through one round of what they had us audition for. So it's a, it's a very well put together program. Uh, I, I can tell you that Tony had consulted with a very recently retired Navy SEAL uh, for input when it came to creating this because he wanted something that was going to be streamlined. He wanted something that was going to be effective and that was really going to be an excuse eliminator for a great number of the populace. And at 22 minutes, you can't argue that you don't have time to do it. Um, so, but, I mean, that's basically how the program came about. Uh, everything is very well structured. Everything is very efficient. And I think when you hear from the, from the ladies on the call, the, the sequencing of the movements is what gets it. You know, some of them, some of your sets are going to be ascending in reps. Some of them are going to be descending. So you may start at max reps and work down from that as you go through the three sets of it. Hopefully all of you on the call tried out cardio one. So you got a little taste of what it's all about, but I'm telling you this, this program, you know, I've been, blessed to be involved in a lot of different programs and I am most proud of this one. I am most humbled by this one and uh, being a veteran and being part of an all veteran cast, it's really hugely moving. This, this program has potential to touch millions of lives in a very positive way. So Mark, I'm, uh, I'm sharing your, your transformation here. Uh, you're, you're someone that had, he's a product of the product. I mean, we talk about being a product of the product. Mark Briggs is a product of the product. And your before picture there is kind of a goal for a lot of guys, right? Like, let's, let's just be honest. And so what did it take for you to go from left to right? I mean, that, that's, you, you know, and, and he's, did, hard, did, the, did the discipline of being in hardcore in a test group, um, you know, help you? And then second is, what if I'm not in a test group, can I still get these results? If so, what is it going to take? Yeah, absolutely. And I will, I will preface this. When we shot this back in early August, um, I, was, I was in a little better shape than you see in the before. I tore two tendons off of my humerus. So this is my first program jumping back into fitness. This was the first program that I worked all the way through. Um, what it took was 100 complete, 100% 100 dedication to the eating plan, which by the way, it comes with a phenomenal eating plan. It's very easy to follow and it's adaptable. Uh, the other thing is obviously giving your all on the workouts. I mean, I'm like anybody else. I get in the gym and there's some days I see something on the schedule. I'm like, oh, cause I know it's just going to kick my butt. But then I think it's 22 minutes, suck it up, you know? And, uh, it's just getting that mindset. As far as going through it in the test group, I have to say, honestly, this has been the best group that I've ever participated in. This is my first time ever doing a test group. So, you know, being in a couple of the workouts, you get to be a very tiny piece of the puzzle. But when you get to be part of a challenge group like this, you get to see the whole puzzle assembled and you get to share that and you, you're in that same struggle. So it kind of takes you as a coach, it puts you in the position that your challengers are in. So you really 
rely on each other. This has hands down been the best group and, and they've certainly motivated me and I've learned as much from them, if not more than what they've learned from me. So it's, it's been a humbling experience and an absolute blessing. Well, Mark, congratulations, and thank you for your service. Um, you know, thank you for all that you do for the Beach Buddy community, and thank you for spending some time talking about that. There's a few questions. One of them you answered as, as, as you were going about the work as in the nutrition. Uh, it will be a perfect segue into uh, inviting Mona Brown um, to, to share her experience. So Mona Brown actually um, uh, is a four-star diamond premier coach, and uh, Mona is going to talk a bit about the nutrition, the workouts, and then fitting them into a busy lifestyle. All of us have just busy lifestyles, um, you know, and, and, so, and so Mona, why don't you come in, share your experience, and, and maybe answer some of the questions that we've got from the audience. Sure, well thank you everybody for having me. This has just been an honor to be a part of this test group. Um, I am a veteran. I served in 1991, a long time ago, and I guess I, uh, of course, before doing this test group and being asked to be part of it, I saw the teaser video it was put out months ago. And I was like, oh gosh, I envision like jumping jacks only and lots of push-ups only and running and doing sprints. And I had flashbacks to Drill Sergeant Ramos in 1991. But um, I was super pleasantly surprised um, by these simple workouts and like Mark was saying, how streamlined it is and how efficient, uh, just 22 minutes. I mean, um, could it get any better than that? I am a mama to a three-year-old and an eight-year-old and I, I, I am blessed to stay at home. And I think for the moms out there, you know, we, uh, we it, it, people at people are like, oh, that's easy. Well, you can do your workout. You've got, you've got all day long to do the things you do. Well, that's just not true, right? We we juggle and struggle just like anyone else to fit things into our day. And uh, this was just um, the workouts were uh, interesting. Uh, they were they were new. So many of them were new to me, and that is that makes it fun when you can put in your DVD or Beachbody On Demand and you see a move you've never seen before. And the way that it's set up really um, causes you to dig in to all of your moves and really uh, work hard for that 22 minutes. Um, and I gotta say, 22 minutes for me uh, is enough time for my three-year-old to still take a nap. So that fits <laughs> great right there it is a no excuses it blows those away I mean we can say 30 minutes was great 25 but 22 we, we got that and there's no excuses um, I will say like Mark said uh, this really puts uh, being part of a challenge group again really put coaching um, and how I coach my challenge groups now back on the map because uh, let's face it, October, November, and December were, were nutritionally a bomb for me. I mean, I was following uh, uh, the, the containers and, and the uh, portion, right? But I was not being honest about it, right? The food is on point for this program. You have 22 minutes, you have to make it count, and the food has to count too. You have to be 100% dedicated. But it's possible with the, with the awesome, uh, you know, the portion control containers. And I really got back on track with that. And I will say the first week um, was, was, I was exhausted. I was, it was hard. I was pushing myself. And I was on the lowest, um, if you're familiar with the brackets, I was on the lowest plan. And I had to really be honest with that. And I bumped myself up to the next plan because I needed that food and I needed that nutrition and it made all the difference. So it's really important when you get into this plan, this workout, that you, that you know that that might change, that it's adaptable, that you might bump yourself up to give yourself the energy to get through this um, because it's, it's intense, but it is quick and it is uh, um, just really a focused functional fitness like mark said and i think of functional fitness to the mamas on the group but you know 
picking your child up, putting them in the chair, picking them up, putting them in the car, picking them. I mean, so there's a lot of that recruitment that's happening, that muscle recruitment that's happening with your body. The upper body works with the lower body. Lower body works with the upper body. It's fantastic. So um, I, uh, I, let me see, are there any questions that are specific to that? Yeah, Mona, I'm going to share your results, if you don't mind, here on the screen as, as, uh, as you answer questions. But I do have uh, a question. You mentioned brackets, lowest brackets. For those that don't know, what is that? And then what does bumping brackets mean? Yes. Well, okay. So it's very similar if you're familiar with the 21-day fixed plan. Uh, we are using those containers, those, that plan, for this program, which rocks because it is an it is set for you. It's an it's a no brainer. The uh, the target the plan A for me was a target range of like twelve hundred to fourteen ninety nine fifteen hundred calories. Um, so you know you got your portion of vegetables, your fruits, your proteins, your carbs, those healthy fats, your dressings, your oils, and you know the. Um, Portions are there for you to figure out what each meal looks like. So I know in a day that I was getting it three veggies, right? Three cups of that. And then the fruits and the proteins. But I was hungry. I was super hungry. So I went up to plan B, which is about 1,500 to 1,800 calories. And that was the game changer. My body started to get more cut. Um, I had more energy. Uh, bumping that food up was so key. And so there are, you, you get the booklet and you will figure out your calorie bracket versus with your, um, uh, the way your energy output and all of that. It's, it's a simple math. Um, equ equation that you just fill out and you find your portions based on that but your body will tell you what you need to do you know if you're tired if you're lacking energy I'm sorry I'm, I'm freezing sorry if you're tired lacking energy you need to bump up that plan because your body needs it so awesome um, really good so two questions one were your results Mona more um, not only over overall health and fitness, I guess feeling better, well-being, or obviously from the transformation pictures, you got a transformation. Can you share that yet? Can you not? Can you give us a ballpark? Uh, of, of my, like the inches and- Your numbers and all that, yeah. Sure, well, okay, so I'm pretty athletic. I always have been. Um, I, 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 I gained muscle pretty easy, but what was missing was my strength. I looked strong, but I wasn't strong. I, I um, you know, October, November, December, I ate terribly because those are the trifecta of the holidays. I was under sweaters and jeans, and then when I did that before picture, I was like, wow, I really blew some of that. Those the results I had gotten prior to October. Um, so I lost, right now, I'm at 13 inches believe it or not, and a couple pounds, but um, mostly it's the inches. I could not believe it, and I'm, I'm pretty short, <laughs> so I'm challenged in that area, but uh, it was, I couldn't believe it, almost 13 inches at this point, and a few pounds, so, awesome. and in my upper, upper body strength is back, so I'm stoked. Fantastic. Uh, one more question for you, uh, Mona, is did you stay in that higher bracket the entire 60 days or did you go back down? I, I did. I stayed in it. This is our last week. I stayed at the, the plan B the entire time after week one. I realized I needed it. Uh, and then this week, though, I did go back down to plan A because it's the last week. Um, I am, I'm, I'm stronger. I'm not as hungry hungry as I was, right? Because I've, I've, I've gotten used to the plan. So I'm back to A to see what I can do in this next day, you know, this next two days. Awesome. So, uh, yep. Excellent awesome. work. Congratulations. Um, I, I, and thank you for your service, Mona. This is, this is phenomenal stuff and it's good to see you transform and, and, uh, you know, give hope for, for everybody, uh, looking into summer, looking into, at uh, the end of this year, looking into something new that, that is functional, like you talked about, that can truly help them transform their bodies. Lo love, love that. Absolutely.
Thank you, Mona. Mark, do you mind unmuting yourself? I know you've been answering a lot of questions uh, on the chat box here. Um, do you mind touching on a few of those uh, questions? Uh, the performance line, uh, did you do any extra weights, extra cardio? Did you stick to the plan? I uh, saw just a few things here and there. Mark, do you mind, before we go to Val, answering some of those? Uh, no, as far as the performance line, I use the Energize and the Recover uh, regularly. My wife is also in the challenge group and also amazing results with the same. Um, as far as, did you ask about equipment, Arno? Uh, there is equipment questions too, yes. Sure. You're going to need a pull-up bar, a uh, light set of dumbbells, and uh, I recommend the sandbag if you haven't used them. Beachbody really did a good job putting this together. In the, in the workouts themselves, what we're using is a prototype bag. This thing is well put together. I've done a lot of sandbag training, and this is far superior to something you're going to buy at a local retail, retail store, especially in the price point that it's going to be at. Um, I've thrown mine down when I've been done because I'm smoked, and it hasn't broken. Uh, ruptured, I've yet to take a sand shower, whereas with some of those cheaper bags, I have. So uh, I definitely recommend going with the Beachbody product there. Awesome. What else did you have for questions there, Arno? Uh, the other one that you mentioned is, you know, you believe, you know, your belief between nutrition and workout, you know, the 80, 20 rule. Yeah. I, you know, I think we all look the way we do because of what we put in our food hole. So, you know, if you think about it, we can all spend, even if we spend an hour a day, that leaves 23 hours a day that we're either sleeping or eating and everybody struggles with the eating portion. So if you can commit, I'm telling you right now, if you can commit a hundred percent or even 90% you're going to see results so much better than if you don't follow the food plan and do your own thing. If you went through just the workouts themselves, you're going to get more fit. You're going to get faster. Your, your endurance is going to get better. Your strength is going to improve, but none of that hard work is going to show until you get your diet in line. Excellent stuff. No, for sure. And as much as we would rather, we, we would rather outwork a bad diet, it doesn't happen yeah. that way. I've been trying for years. So thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, Mona. Great, yeah. great presentation. We're going to uh, switch gears now and close the call with Val Bozzo. Val, if you want to unmute yourself, uh, Val is a 10-star Diamond Elite coach. The unique part about Val is that uh, her husband, Dusty, actually um, was, was stationed, just got back from deployment about a week, a week and a half ago. Um, so thank you, Dusty, for your service. I know that, Val, yeah, you, you kicked his butt after deployment. I saw a few of your workouts together. So Val is going to talk about, you know, the connection with our, with our veterans and, 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 and talk more what's next, right, as far as who we connect with, how we connect, who the target, her target audience is, and kind of how she wants to share this with, with the rest of the world. So Val, if you're on, come on in. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for that, Arnold. So yes, I am the military spouse in all of this. So let me tell you, whenever I was asked to do this test group, first of all, I like didn't even believe it. I was so excited about it. But I decided from the first day that I was going to nail in my target audience, which was military, military spouses, military wives, military couples, and I was going to run with it. So my initial like launch post for this test group was I put on a pair of my husband's cami pants and like my sports bra and I took a picture and that was kind of like the defining moment because people, I just put it out there and people started to see me, okay, what is this? So I really believe that that helped get the military audience open for my market. So every single day I post a picture of my workout in the mornings and I'm consistent day one week one day two um, week two week three and I've been doing that and I share my journey so my husband like I said he's on been on deployment so he's known what I've been doing with this but he didn't see it firsthand until he got home it's been about two and a half weeks ago and He's been like, oh, yeah, you know, military basic training. I've been through all of that. Totally get it. We do PT three times a week. It's going to be nothing. I was like, okay, let's see. So when he got home, he the first day home, he popped in, and we did the workout together. And I love my husband, and he is awesome, and he did amazing keeping up. But he was shocked at the, the sequence, like Mark was talking about. It is the sequence of the workouts that just really nail it. So yeah, so he's been doing it with me since he's been home and he's just like, oh my gosh, you know, this really does work. So I've been just talking about it with military spouses. I've created 
some groups on Facebook that are all military spouse affiliated. Some of the, the groups that I'm in for like our base here, I've just been talking about it. And that word of mouth really starts to take hold. And then, so you guys, you know, you coaches who are going to get this program and you're going to run with it. My tip for you is to really key in on your target audience. Maybe you're not affiliated with the military. Maybe you are like, I don't even know anybody like in the military that I could get. This program truly is for everyone. So my tip would be maybe you focus on that. It. It's a boot camp style workout. You know, maybe you focus on bikini boot camp for summer because it's an eight week program. So you start now, it's going to bring you up into the early summer months and you're going to be ready for, for beach season, beach weather. And it's 22 minutes a day. So this again for anyone because it's 22 minutes so if you have the price of or the um, objection of i don't have time 22 minutes and it is legit 22 minutes from start to finish again mark mentioned it that is warm up and cool down in 22 minutes so that has been what i'm t teaching my team i'm like everyone as a coach you all need to get this program, whether you feel like it's something that is for you or not. This is our job. So we're all getting the program. We're all going to do it. We're all going to talk about it. But the trick is, is to decide who your niche market, who your target audience is, and talk directly to them with this. So yes, for me, this is perfect because I do have an audience of Navy, military um, spouses. So that's been my, my take on it. And then I noticed a couple questions too about, is this the only program, like the only workout you've been doing? This is it. I wanted to be able to say, this is my life. The I have only done these workouts for 22 minutes a day, whatever it is, it's laid out. The only extra exercise I've done is taking my kids on bike rides or jumping on the trampoline, you know, normal daily activities that I do with, you know, my kids. And then the 80-20 rule, the nutrition, I have been pretty much spot on. But again, I've called myself out on, I've had frozen yogurt dates twice. Sorry, guys. Like, I have. I know, right? It's a shocker. And I had pizza one night. And so I'm, but I really feel like that keeps me real because I'm taking on the approach. I am a mom. I was chosen for this test group. I am eating in the meal container. So those days that I did have the frozen yogurt, I made sure that it fit in my containers. And it was like, it was in my daily allowance. Same way with the pizza. I'm like, I am saving all of my yellow containers so I can eat a piece of pizza tonight, you know? But, and that was kind of towards the beginning. So I will say that the last three weeks, I have been really good spot on because I do, I want to get the results, but I'm not the one, you know, prepping like I'm a bikini competitor, trying to only eat fish and, and um, vegetables because of my market. I want to make sure that I can say, here is exactly what I have eaten and this is why. So, and I'm getting great results from it. And it's just, I listen to my body. So the days that my, I feel like I'm exhausted, you know, I just, I listen to myself and I'll have an extra protein or I'll add an extra veggie or an extra carb if I feel like it. And by that, it's the containers. So I do, I do bump back and forth between that um, $12.99 to, or yeah, the, the 1200 to the 1499 and then the second bracket. I've kind of bounced back and forth the whole time, depending on how I feel. So really, you know, and then just working out with my husband and he's been talking about it to his friends on base. And then he's like, dude, seriously, you guys don't even know you have to get this because I thought it was just going to be, oh, it's super easy. And it is not. So be real with people. That's my biggest tip. Well, Val, thank you very much. And it's fun. I, I appreciate your candor and honesty. I mean, you, you weren't, you were not, um, you know, eating beef and spinach and chicken uh, and broccoli for <laughs> eight weeks. You had some dessert, you uh, indulge a little bit, but it sounds like you did it within uh, the realm of the program, right? Because the program sounds like it does allow you some flexibility because you still need to live a life. Uh, as I'm share, as I share your transformation picture, Val, what was the toughest thing of the program? And it's, it's 22 minutes. Uh, it's very doable to fit into your schedule with Lowline Maddie's school schedule and everything else. Was there, was there anything hard? I mean, obviously, congrats on the, on the results. Anything yeah. you can share on that? 
Um, I, I mean, the difficult thing is always going to be the mental, the mindset, because there are days like everyone that I'm like, oh, I just don't feel like working out today. Or, you know, some, I love all of the, the, the whole program itself is amazing, but there are a couple um, of the workouts that are just hard for me. Some of the moves are just, they're out of my comfort zone because they are such different types of moves that I've never done before that I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that one today. But I, I make myself do it. And then it is, it's the mindset. I mean, we've traveled a few times in this program. So of course I want to run and grab, you know, food, Chick-fil-A or, you know, pizza every day. Or like we were at, in Atlanta last weekend and I'm like, man, the restaurants here are so good. I just want to go and eat. But I'm the one like eating the salad and the protein and stuff while my family members were like, you know, having their pasta and all of that. So it's always, always going to be the nutrition, no matter how mental, you know, you can keep it, no matter how in step you can keep yourself, it's still a challenge no matter what. But all in all, it's been amazing and it is well worth the eight weeks, guys. Just get it and do it. Absolutely. Well, Mark, Mona, and Val, uh, thank you very much uh, for being part of the test group, for showing us what's possible with a little bit of discipline, a little bit of uh, commitment, and a little bit of accountability and, and willingness to push through those flat spots like you all talked about. Uh, I'm personally extremely excited about this. Um, I wanted to keep this to just about 30 minutes, but I appreciate all of you. As you're watching this, uh, definitely get done and get some. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be available uh, this March coming up. It's FAQ 3716. I'm excited. I hope you are. And uh, thank you again for joining us for this 22-minute hardcore review by our official test group participants. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great weekend.